Hi and a very warm welcome to Easy Video Series. This is Mayank Agarwal here and in this tutorial we are going to see how to download the latest version of Windows that is released on July the 29th. Okay, with this I will be showing you two techniques. One is the easier one and one is though easier but uh, the downloading might be slow. Okay, so in order to download Windows 10, Windows Microsoft has given a media creation tool that needs to be downloaded and needs to be configured. So we will first look at into the Microsoft default download method. The link will be given in the video description. You can download it from here. So here is the link. I am just copying it. After the copy, I start my browser and paste into the URL box paste and go so basically here we come across download windows 10 so there are some requirements so you can have a 4 gb pen drive or a 4.4 gb us cd drive or a dvd drive okay so you need to download the tool for a 32 bit version and for 64 bit now it depends on your os is 32 bit or 64 bit okay so for checking that you can just come to your I am using Windows 10 right now. I have installed the latest version. You can come on my computer, right click and select properties. From there you can get the 64 bit OS or the 32 bit OS. So since my operating system is a 64 bit operating system, I will use a 30, 64 bit tool. Okay. I have already downloaded it and it's here. The media creation toolbox. You may have used Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1 to download this. So there will be few options that would be different. Since I am using Windows 10 on a Windows 10 machine, I will have some different options. Okay, so I start the tool, media creation tool, double click it. Okay. So we have upgraded the PC option which would be there in your Windows 7 or 88.1. So let us select the create installation media for another PC. Okay, it is always better to download the ISO first, burn it or write down a USB and then proceed. Click next. Then selection of languages. I will select United States. You may select any other language that you wish. Then Windows 7 comes in a home edition, pro edition and pro n edition. N editions are usually for Europe. So I am selecting the Pro Edition. Depending on your CPU architecture, you can select 64-bit or 32-bit. Since I have a 64-bit processor, I am selecting the 64-bit. Then I am clicking on Next. So choose the media which you wish to use. You may directly insert a plug in a pen drive right now. Okay. Or you may download the ISO file. Okay. So it's better to select the ISO file in my view. You may directly use the pen drive also. Then Select next. It will ask you for the download location. You may keep the download folder. Okay. Uh, since I have already downloaded Windows 10 ISO with me, I am not downloading this. But at this point, you need to click save. Okay. Just I am clicking cancel for now. Okay. And the downloading starts. Okay. So once the ISO is downloaded, you can either write it on a DVD or you may write it on a USB drive. The USB drive needs to be formatted. Okay, this was the first method to download the Windows copy, the latest copy. The second method that I am going to suggest you is to use the second link. So this will give you directly the ISO which you can download via any download manager or the default browser download. I am clicking the link. Again, this link will also be available in the download in the video description. Okay. So here it is. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I have just pasted the wrong link, I guess. Yeah, I am sorry. The link was erroneous. So I have rectified the link. Okay, so here is the link to download the latest version of Windows that is released on 29th July. This link will also will be there in the video description. Come to your browser URL, right click and select paste and go. 
you can select paste and press enter also that would mean the same thing okay so this is uh, not english in my knowledge okay so here is a download link when you scroll down so we have windows 10 professional and home edition 64 bit 32 bit and again single language i don't know which language that is so it's better to download from this link or this link either of the two depending on your processor enterprise editions i have not downloaded i have downloaded my iso using this version okay so you can click here okay uh, i have a download limit at my end uh, this error won't come to your side okay so when you click directly you will have the c software download microsoft.com windows 10 english this okay so these are the two methods either use the media creation tool that is easier or you may directly download the ISO and use some third party tools to burn the Windows 10 ISO on your pen drive. That's it. Thank you for watching.